Hello everyone, how are you? I would like to make a quick announcement before I begin today's video. I resumed updating my second channel called Nakagawa Manabu. Literally means it's my uh, real Japanese name. My second channel was designed for those who know me better and I still wanna uh, stay in touch with on a daily basis. So people trying to reach me and saying, Hi Manabu-san, or how are you? Or uh, let's go hang out, shall we? Or uh, someone gives me a greetings or invitation once or twice a month like that. I was so grateful in the first round. Uh, I realized I was so much loved by a lot of people. I couldn't be happier, but there was only one concern, which was that uh, those people didn't really like to shoot a video with me for my YouTube activity. Do doing YouTube, do doing YouTube uh, is a part of my main reason why I'm here in Tokyo. And if, we, uh, if I can't do uh, anything with you together on YouTube, how come uh, do I have to uh, make time for you? Uh, they didn't even do a social media like Facebook or Instagram. Uh, they didn't uh, w w wanna be a famous or uh, influential on a social media, or they don't care uh, about what I'm doing for YouTube. Yeah, besides uh, my second channel has less than 100 subscribers, I'm so humiliated to tell people so. It's embarrassing. I felt uh, kind of uh, alone and I can't uh, even tell people that uh, I'm making YouTube videos in business because my company may monitor my activities to see if I disclose a uh, company's credential uh, information on YouTube. Uh, so uh, there was no pros, I mean no merits, no, dis uh, no advantages or nothing beneficial either. And you know what? Most recently, I read a newspaper uh, saying that uh, one Japanese YouTuber got suspended sentence for insulting a normal person on YouTube. He got fined at 300,000 Japanese yen as well. Yeah, it's, a, it's getting a huge risk for uh, any YouTubers. Normal people uh, don't really want to get in trouble with the, uh, with the kind of uh, incident uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with uh, w uh, out there, but actually it makes sense to me. It's perfectly understandable. People hate being open-minded in social media, especially for females, uh, female users. Uh, they are afraid of stalkers, hidden cameras, and uh, their private life. Even when I hold a sel selfie stick in public, uh, they get picky about my shootings. Yeah, they uh, look at me like, oh, cut it out. I felt stressful, so I gave up shooting videos with anybody uh, in in, uh, in 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 public place. Even for Instagram, I stopped uh, uploading pictures with someone without permission. That's why uh, I was less motivated to uh, keep putting out uh, my contents for my second channels uh, last year. Even I hesitated uh, disclosing my real Japanese name, but I changed my mind last year because guess what? I knew no one watched me. It's quite challenging to do it myself for good, but unless I make a monetization with a YouTube sponsorship or partnership in business all on my own, I can't survive myself on a social media platform like YouTube. If I depend too much on a third party, my friend or uh, sur my surroundings, I'm a loser, you know? Uh, so basically, uh, I'm responsible for everything I do any lost debit, uh, payment, or whatever it is. I'm supposed to be the one who needs to uh, manage it, right? Ever since I started uh, my YouTube activity, uh, I should have made a decision that uh, I do everything myself. But that's my big mistake. So I'll modify a little bit. Uh, you, you, can uh, you can still call me Mabu, Mana, Manabu, uh, if you want to. I'm so happy, uh, whatever you call me. I don't mind, but uh, I don't mind, but uh, for my second channel, I call myself Manabu because I make Japanese videos in Japan uh, for those who uh, want to know about my personal life. I may change my mind later, but uh, I keep blogging uh, for, the for, for, the, uh, for the for the for the for the for the time being. Okay, so ever since I moved to Tokyo a year ago from today, I haven't been motivated to do uh, anything amazing. Yeah, I got a mental breakdown. I had so much hard time uh, working for my new new work environment and I got a gout attack. So uh, physically or uh, mentally, uh, there was no room in my heart to do uh, what I really wanted to do. My heart uh, couldn't take any more, but uh, now that I'm used to my new life, I mean real life in Tokyo, uh, I'm thinking that uh, it's about time to uh, make 
uh, move uh, forward to my future plan. That's how I get back to uh, stay motivated to, to the YouTube. So my first advice uh, is that uh, you go back to the beginning when you get stuck once. Okay, then uh, back to the topic. Let's go dive into today's topic, shall we? Today, uh, we're gonna be discovering motivation. If you liked uh, my video, uh, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, when you do so, I'll be more motivated. <laughs> There are many ways to get motivated or what works for one person may not uh, work for another. When you Google how to stay motivated, uh, you'll get a, a lot of general ideas and uh, strategies to help you boost your motivation. But I just want you to keep in mind only one thing about uh, motivation. That is, motivation is silence. Based on the mechanism and the principle of motivation, I would like to uh, illustrate the lack of motivation can be resolved. You can generate and uh, create your environment where you stay motivated for the long period of time. I know uh, sometimes uh, you feel like you don't want to do anything or lay down on your bed for the whole day. That's fine. That's perfectly okay. Every, everyone does the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like me <laughs> there are uh, only uh, four basic tips to do okay so the most important thing is the environment if you change your environment your action is changed if your action is changed your life is changed as well same thing same thing as you get motivated if you are living with your parents for good uh, you are spoiled forever because you don't have enough knowledge uh, on how to make a better environment you go wrong you would strive to work hard. You put a lot of effort on something you want to achieve, but uh, you do the wrong direction. That's why you are less and less motivated. I found tons of videos out there uh, teaching tips and tricks uh, behind how to get motivated. I think they are awesome. Yeah, very, very awesome. But when it comes to staying, uh, staying motivated, that's a wholly different story. Yeah, you can just uh, last for too long. Uh, when, I, when I was on a diet, for example, uh, I was fastest, but I failed because I just copied someone's on the internet, succeeded. I was believing that the most successful way uh, would be the uh, applied to my uh, mindset, but eventually I knew I was wrong. Why? Because my goal setting was unrealistic. I mean, not measurable. I would have defined a clear goal, but uh, it has developed terrible, terrible uh, binge eating addictions. I was having a hard time uh, getting uh, getting into less eatings. So what was the deal with that? I mean, uh, it got me uh, thinking like how skinny people are motivated to maintain their weight uh, at the standard level of weight control. I know acknowledge, uh, you know, I, I'm overweighted, but uh, you know, it can be hard to uh, get moving, and it's weird because uh, I'm getting less and less done after the uh, few weeks passes. You might, uh, you might have had the uh, same experience as I did, but I have realized uh, I didn't feel pr pressure uh, when I was on a diet. Eating ice cream was my happiness, so I failed. Then, uh, dopamine uh, working in my brain was associated with sticking with something uh, until it rewarded me, just like a uh, gambling addiction. Yeah, you go to the casino or pachinko if you are in Japan, gambling uh, takes advantage of uh, the dopamine response in your brain by randomly rewarding stupid behavior. And when you get the win or when you get the uh, jackpot, you feel pressure. It uh, dumps a ton of, ton of, a ton of dopamine into your brain, uh, which feels amazing. And the dopamine uh, reward uh, motivate you uh, to keep doing it. So in my case of uh, terrible binge, eatings, uh, dopamine creates a reward that uh, motivates uh, behavior like that. Uh, you know, I, I, wanna more, uh, I want more ice cream. <laughs> I take action, then uh, I get the reward, and then uh, I have motivation to take more action. When you uh, control motivation in the right way, uh, it works the best, but uh, if it's meaningless, your motivation is not gonna last in the long run. Yeah, I utilize this uh, principle, okay? 
good or bad, uh, you try to manage the uh, same cycle uh, of completing uh, small tasks like uh, taking action, uh, getting a reward, and uh, make a behavior. Uh, you don't have to be uh, gifted. Uh, you know, you don't want to be a genius like uh, Otani-san. Yeah, just uh, set measurable goal where uh, you can reach within a few months. Let's say uh, you want to get a certificate to be an accountant, but passing a test is not your goal. Yeah, you make an extension uh, to make more money as an accountant uh, uh, after passing the test, right? Yeah, a certificate is not your goal. Just a single task. I gave you another example. Let's suppose uh, you want to go on a journey by bike. Uh, that's your goal, okay? Uh, you're having a road trip by uh, riding a bike, but uh, you uh, you need to purchase your own bike. So you save your money, uh, get a part-time job, and deposit it. Yeah, so so that uh, you can save a whole lot of money. That's your task. You make a difference. Money is just like a tool to achieve your goal. Uh, when you make a millions of dollars, I ask you how you spend it. If you can't answer me, that means uh, you have no goals. Clear? When you make up your goal, uh, you have a desire like uh, what you really want to do. Once you make a large goal, uh, break it down into a small along the way uh, gives you a sense of um, progress and the motivation to continue and then you can keep doing it in the long run it doesn't mean it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter how you uh, if you are rich or poor uh, doesn't matter if you are smart or idiot all you gotta do is find your clear goal and take a small step uh, with reward i mean small reward would be a favor uh, and do do reputation until you reach your goal well if you can't uh, find your pleasure satisfaction and even passion not to worry uh, it's scattered everywhere around you uh, let me show you uh, my example uh, i'm working for a french company right yeah and i'm in charge of it department for a pc maintenance i enjoy my work environment but that's not my pleasure i work there for uh, making money yeah, just making money. Yeah, my goal is I wanna, I want all people all over the, all over the world watch my YouTube videos and listen to me. That's my goal. Uh, whereas I go to my company and earn as much view time on YouTube as possible. That's my tasks. I wanna be at the center of uh, you know big stage on YouTube. I wanna be influential. I uh, you know I wanna be famous. I wanna gain reputation and my private brand awareness. But wait a second. Don't you think my goal is too unclear, too uh, abstract? Why do you think I want to be so famous? What, what is the purpose of being a famous YouTuber? Originally, my goal came from uh, when I wanted to uh, pro basketball player in America uh, when I was 20s. I wanted more competition to play with extended players on a great basketball court, uh, which is NBA, for example. But I had to give up on it uh, because I got too old uh, at the time. So I shifted my passion from basketball to something else as an alternative addiction. You know, my life uh, has only one time. Yeah, come on. Uh, I didn't want to regret my life, so I looked for another dream instead of my goal when I was 20s. Here, do you think a uh, dream has something to do with uh, your goal? Do you think uh, they are the uh, same, different, or even uh, not even close? How uh, would you describe your dream uh, story and uh, make it happen in real time? Uh, you get so excited uh, to pursue your dream. Uh, you create your better environment where you can possibly reach your dream. But you want to define more specific tasks like actually what you need to do. Then, how would you be able to visualize your uh, tasks on a piece of scratch paper? What's needed? Indicator. Numeric data. I'll talk more about that in the second half, okay? Alright, that's pretty much all for the part of the goal setting section. The part 2 will be resumed in the next episode. Thank you for visiting my uh, YouTube channel by the way. I'm your instructor, Mabu Mana.
or Manabu. Whatever you call me, I'm so grateful. I, I was so happy to be here presenting my YouTube channel called Mana College right in front of you today. Uh, for those who are new and those who are interested in Japan and its related uh, topic on Japanese business, breaking news, culture, tradition, and uh, whatever it helps you to motivate, I always welcome you on YouTube. If you don't mind, uh, please check out my Instagram and X linked the uh, below description section. Uh, you can access anytime. See you next time soon, and I'll wait for you uh, in another week here. Thanks for watching.